Hello everyone and welcome to a second royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Friday afternoon, gorgeous Friday afternoon. I finally got out the hot tub and got myself home back to Fluffy. And uh, we're catching up on some readings and we have the Shadowland Tarot on the tarot table for this one. We're looking today, our theme for the day is Harry and how he's coming across, how he's being portrayed, how he looks to the public. And this reading is based on The Crown and an article by Maureen Callahan writing in the Daily Mail. She was reviewing the final season of The Crown and the way Prince Harry is portrayed and doesn't look good. I haven't watched, I cancelled my Netflix subscription a long time ago when that Parkour deal was signed. That was the end of me and Netflix and I told them as much. Um, but... Uh, Maureen Callahan has saved me from watching. She says that Harry is depicted as an angry, bitter, hopeless, recalcitrant loser whose simmering resentment of William would only ever lead to ruin. And that wouldn't be ruin for William, it would be ruin for Harry, me reading between the lines. She says he is twice staged on or near a toilet, drinking copiously and lamenting his gingerhood. And she ends the article by saying the crown may be over, but the world knows exactly who's come out on top in this fratricidal war of words. So Harry apparently really doesn't look good, whereas William and Catherine do. It seems that the things that people feared in this final season haven't really come to pass. And uh, Harry is the one who's ended up looking pretty bad. And apparently also they cast an actor, I was reading somewhere else, that um, <sighs> trying not to body shame or whatever shaming, but a bit of an odd looking fellow, shall we just say, uh, deliberately. Um, so poor old has been not portrayed well by his master and overlord, um, the hand that feeds, and that hand would of course be Netflix. So with the Shadowland Tarot, I'm going to do a Celtic Cross and see how he's feeling about this right now. I'm sure that he has read this Maureen Callahan article. I'm sure that um, he's feeling rather aggrieved that William got to look good, he got to look bad. Even that uh, nasty, I call it, costume that he was wearing. Yes, William laughed, but Harry uh, apparently in the crown is the one that looks like a moron for wearing it. Uh, that's me uh, reporting, that's my opinion on something I admittedly haven't watched. So I'm just talking about what I've read. And let's remind you that I'm just reading tarot here for fun and entertainment, all my opinion, all speculation, just read energy and disclaimer in the box below. So well, let's see what the Shadowland wants to tell us. We're going to do a Celtic cross look at Harry's, from Harry's perspective, how he feels about this de depiction, why he might have been depicted like this, his expectation versus reality. What's he going to do? One more. Is he going to sue Netflix? What's he going to do? How's he going to respond? How does he feel about William? coming across so much better than he and what's it going to do for his self-esteem ultimately in relation to his brother what impact is it going to have because his whole world seems to be driven by this resentment this desire to prove himself better than William bigger braver bolder uh, what's the word more haired <laughs> is there such a word uh, the ones the not bald uh, although terribly bald, balding. Uh, so let's see what these vulgar little yellow cards want to tell us. Underlying energy, four of cups in reverse. It's my do-over card. It's my, uh, give me another chance and I'll, I'll be more motivated and more enthusiastic because upright four of cups is apathetic. Uh, don't really feel what I need to feel, indifferent, kind of rejection. In reverse, it's so, okay, okay, can we try that again? Can we get more excited about something, more enthused about something? I think he'd like this to be done again. It's that kind of energy of, really? You had to do it like this, you could have done it like that. In all the meetings we had, Netflix, although allegedly they never discussed it. I did read on that a while back. Peter Morgan, no, I never talked to them about it. Oh, no. 
uh, it's kind of mm, I'm sure he could do this better get a better looking actor he did I can't remember that ginger guy actor that he did say should play him in anything famous British actor very popular I can't gone blank too much in the hot tub mineral water very very powerful mineral water this situation we have eight of pentacles well it's work it's work it's money it's business so I think he sees it as oh well because you can see this person is painting those skulls and he th he's looking at it as oh well it's just theatre, it's business, this is what they do, this is what they do to make money and if they're going to paint my skull like that, oh well it's not so bad. I think someone's talked him down uh, off the ledge with that eight of pentacles and put it in his mind that doesn't matter. This is just for appearance's sake and you can write and spare what you like and it doesn't matter because it's business and you can make a documentary about escaping from the royal clutches, the cruel royals and it doesn't matter it's just business that's what the eight of pentacles is telling me it doesn't matter don't take it personally don't take it personally is he is he taking it personally the crossing card the challenge what's going on queen of swords uh that's a more mm, a more critical view of things the queen of swords and i think that he doesn't like I'm, I'm pointing the Queen of Swords, uh, it would be Maureen Callahan and similar. He doesn't like those kinds of articles pointing out how badly he has been written in the crown, how badly he's been depicted. He doesn't like it, it's critical and it's cut, it's cut him deep, that Queen of Swords. So I think he's been told, don't worry, don't take it personally. This is how we make our money. But Queen of Swords, critical, scathing, really. Uh, true, the Queen of Swords is a great truth teller. And he doesn't like the fact that it's been written, it's been published, it's been printed. Uh, it's pretty vicious and people are going to read it and they're going to laugh and they're going to agree with it. And it's quite hard to marry the two just business don't worry don't take it personally with well here's an article in the daily mail i bet he wakes up in the morning well whenever he wakes up he might wake up at two in the afternoon and he goes straight to the daily mail or the new york post they pretty much pr print the same thing at this point it's hard to tell the difference between the two um my personal opinion so let's see what's at the root of this depiction that is so negative Knight of Pentacles, it's a money card. Knight of Pentacles, it is Harry. It's Harry as Harry is, really. They haven't gone looking for um, controversy. It's right there. They didn't have to go looking far. And even though the Knight of Pentacles upright is normally quite a respectable character, it is the Harry of the minor arcana it's the earth sign prince it's prince harry it's the virgo there he is knight of pentacles clutching his bag of money on that snail going very slowly along towards his money towards his payday and so it's it's a bit about the netflix deal well you signed with us you signed your soul away you said as much on oprah well i had to sign because daddy cut me off um so here's your money here's your bag of money but also so we can do what we like with you and it's just business, Ace of Pentacles, heart of this reading. But also, it's our, our has been riding slowly towards his doom. And as I say, they didn't have to go looking for the stories. The stories were everywhere. Easiest character in the world to write. The villain of the piece, really. And apparently it, it was said in this um, that, you know, I, my job is, is to look bad and make you all look good. As I said, writes itself. So quite a lot going on with that card, that which is at the root of all of this. It informs everything else. Why did this happen? What's his focus right now? It says mind on. Right now, six of cups. It's quite interesting. Uh, interesting because it's reminding me of the Queen and Paddington Bear, oddly enough. That little scenario. 
he's sitting thinking about the past. Not in a negative way. I think he's sitting thinking about the past and oh, what fun it was. Those days when I used to fall out of nightclubs and rip t-shirts off uh, male um, uh, TV presenters and kiss them in an aggressive way after I've ripped down the poster of Granny so she couldn't see what I was doing. Um, it's, it's reminiscing, it's going down memory lane, oh those fun happy days when I could wear a nasty uniform, I say that word deliberately and um, think I was going to get away scot-free in those days when we went to those kinds of parties before everyone got woke. I can't remember what the theme was, something awful about colonial something or whatever. I think, if I'm wrong, apologies, not intending any, anything negative towards them. But it's strange that that's where his mind is sitting, the days when um, he and William were rivals, friendly rivals perhaps, now mortal enemies. Let's see how he was expecting things to go. We're going back into the past, his expectation of his depiction in The Crown three of swords uh, interesting uh, he expected to be the one with all the grief and heartache that they were going to treat him as a sympathetic character the one who'd been betrayed the one who'd been sold not down the river but sent for half an half an afternoon to rehab by daddy to go and see what happens to addicts the one who'd been treated so badly the one who'd had to walk behind mummy's coffin he he really honestly thought that it's a bit buckingham palace-ish there in the background and look at my broken heart and how i've been betrayed and treated so terribly that's what he thought was going to happen What's he going to do, his response? Is he going to sue them as per his business model I discussed in the previous reading of suing everyone and getting very small amounts of money in return? Or what's he going to do, pretend it didn't happen? What's going to happen? We've got the five of swords in reverse. There's nothing he can do. It's an admitting defeat. Five of swords is about conflict, upright. It's a hollow victory, winning something at the cost of all your friendships and your um, your reputation and whatever else you might lose in that dirty battle but in reverse the five of swords you can't win this you can't go and pick a fight with him you can't sue the people who paid you that sack load of gold that you're carrying on that snail there very slowly along so no nothing he can do uh, he realizes that well, he's going to realize that he might actually go and complain to somebody about that queen of swords can i sue the queen of swords for her opinion piece in the daily mail and the someone's who've made a reasonable amount of money out of him already not the big bucks that they thought they were going to make are going to say ah uh -uh, not this one no you'll lose this one five of swords in reverse so how does he view the way william is portrayed as opposed to the way he is portrayed how does that make him feel how does he view it ace of wands in reverse very angry, very angry. Wands and rivers always rage. Um, William's getting all the attention, all the power, all the glory. Ace of Wands is very charismatic, is very exciting and dynamic, and is, is a leader, leader card. Um, getting the good reviews. Um, it, it, it's coming across to me as very unfair, almost like the Justice card in reverse. It's the rage is is off the charts with that card he's very angry about it that william should be the one that comes across as vital and passionate and dynamic and attractive very one's energy very ace of one's energy um and he is made to look like a loser. Ace of wands in reverse is a loser an angry bitter hopeless recalcitrant loser doesn't like it at all what pressure is he under as a result of this portrayal? Pressure is he under nine of cups? Somehow he's got to make his peace with this. Because he can't sue. Because it's his boss who's done this. Um, so nine of cups is very much a drowning your sorrows card. You've got to... You've got to somehow just accept this and be happy with it. Make your peace with it. Uh, but that making peace with it might, uh, for me as a tarot reader, uh, speculating, of course, might mean some more of that, what uh, Maureen Callahan says, 
uh, being on or near a toilet drinking copiously and lamenting his gingerhood. Um, to a bit of a strange energy. But that is his challenge, really. His challenge is to find his inner peace. Contentment. The Nine of Cups is very much about contentment. There's nothing else he can do. He might wish fervently that this whole thing could be redone, rewritten, reshot, recast, re everything to put him in that glorious light that he expected to be put in, or in that light of victimhood that he expected to, Three of Swords. But it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to make your peace with it. You're going to have to drown your sorrows. Somehow it has been his hopes and fears for this. What do we want to, to see? Death. He wants it to go away. He wants it to end. He would like it to change. Uh, same as that Four of Cups energy. He would like it to change. He wants it to end. He doesn't want any more of this. Well, he's hoping that there is no more. Because this has been pretty painful for him. Uh, and... It needs to end. It needs to change. I think he's hoping that his relationship with Netflix ends. Interestingly. That's what's coming through. Sometimes I get those kind of downloads. And that for me is what's coming through that um, death card. Let this deal be over. So that they can't treat me like this. And depict me like this. Or I can sue them if they do. But right now I can't. And uh, impact on his self his sense of self-worth uh in relation to prince william and how much better william is doing generally what's this going to do for him personally for him his feelings about himself and about his life and whatever and we have the world card and the world card is I'm trying to ignore the creature in the red dress with the red shoes dangling in the middle of it all something is going to end i'm always getting marriage and this is not the question i asked but as i say download download has come so it might be the the thing that sends her on her on her way the wife on the wife's way harry's wife on her way to things i'm out of here this is too humiliating. I'm going, I'm taking, I'm clicking those giant red shoes and off I go to somewhere else. Just saying. It's not what I ask. It's not what this reading is about, but it might be consequence that William looks so much better. Harry looks so bad in this. He looks so damaged. He looks so resentful. He looks so bitter that it might just be too much for her. It might shove her off and uh, send her on her way, pack the suitcase, and off she goes. Interesting. Uh, but it is something ending. Here, yeah, we've got two endings. He's hoping something is going to end. For me, that is the Netflix deal. But something is ending with the world. It's a completion card. That's it. That's the end of the cycle. That's the end, possibly, of the Netflix deal. That's the end of being... A producer that's the end of his involvement in the world of celebrity and the movie business the eight of pentacles this is just the movie business don't worry about it oh but she's written such a nasty thing about me who cares you got your money but i was expecting you to be so sorry for me poor me make your peace with it there's nothing you can do william is going to look much better than you because we've decided to throw our lot in with a future king rather than you a current loser you can't sue you can't do anything he's sitting thinking about the past and how good the past was and how terrible this current reality is and wanting things to end he's wanting things in his current reality to end and they are going to end with the world card it does look as if she is going to be the one that ends it very interesting we're going to be looking at all of that in the coming days our year ahead look sees and i can hard to believe it's that time again but that's it for now thank you for watching and i'll see you again tomorrow